Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part two of episode nine. Our action is about to begin. Corey Black against Cody Matthews with Gage Hayes as a special guest referee. Now, our question in this match is if, if Gage Hayes is going to cut a match down the middle, and you just saw what he just did to the GM, his own family, his own blood. But you know, Gage has had bad history with the two of these men in the ring with him. So, what, what's he going to do? Is he going to cut down the middle or is he going to be biased? The only way we can find out if we watch this match. And I know Gage is not, is, is not happy about not having a match here tonight. He doesn't like being referee. You know, he thinks he has, you know, he thinks he, he wants to showcase his skills in that ring. He thinks TDFs to be treating him better than they are right now. But a GM, Alex Hayes, did not announce him in a match tonight. He made him a referee. So his job tonight is to be a referee. And here comes Cody Matthews. Taking the hand of the ref. Good, res good, good respect. And you know Cody is mad from last week. Cody Black just coming in and penning him in 20 seconds. That's embarrassing. Being an ex United champion, that's embarrassing. And now he, you know, he's probably pissed off. And he's, he probably can't wait to get his hands on Cody Black. GM's just sitting there, ready to watch his wrestlers, you know, wrestle so good that TLF has been doing. Since he's been, and this is the first time we have saw a GM on TLF. And we've been going on for five years, something like that? Wow. And Corey Black. A man who's not, who is not afraid of darkness. Send a little message to uh, GM, Alex Hayes. Poor Black is, uh, looks nervous. But we have saw these two men face before. And Cord Black could, can't put up a, oh! He looks like he ducks, but Cody just goes right on him with the knees to a rib cage. And that's easy. Cody's a big man. Cody's not as big as Cody. So Cody can just crush him like, like, I don't know, like a pop can. New weapons, it look like our budget's, our budget's moving up. We, we must be making some type of profit around here. Boom! What a nice wake-up call. Cody just gave a cord black. And boom! Hammer fist down on our chest with that pan. One, two. Two count. Two stone, Cody. Cord Black, he has a lot of skills. That's not going to put him away. Not too soon. And what's Cody doing? Bashes Cody Black's head off that big red wall. You, you can tell that these wrestlers are trying to impress their jam here tonight. Boom! Right into that chair. That could have injured Cory right there. <gasps> nice fist to a, a rib cage, just hammering his back. Now he's gonna take it back in the ring. A kendo sick. That's new. Tito have never, has never had a mat, uh, weapon like that before. I can't believe how much budget you know these people go out for on weapons. But now, oh, smacks a, a head of Corey Black, and now he picks up that Kendall sick. Hoping he can do a lot of damage with that thing here tonight to pull away Corey Black. On his ankle. Boom! That probably did not feel good. Corey gets back up. Right into a rib cage again, 
And you hear a sound of that. What's this? Oh. Big, fast DDT. Flip Corey inside out. Corey thinks he's in Disneyland right now. But I'm sorry, kid. You're not. You're in a ring with an XTF champion, Cody Matthews. He chucks Corey outside of the ring once again. I don't know what Corey's thinking of. Oh, wait. Oh, that, that looks like Corey reversed that into a D. D. T. And face plant Cody's head right into the ground. Oh, right into a gut of Cody Matthews. This is where Corey's on take control. This is where Corey wants to wants to take it. Ooh, whack in the head from Corey Black into Cody Matthews' head. Boom to a kneecap. Boom to a leg and to an ankle of Cody Matthews. And Cody hasn't won a match since he came back. So he's hoping tonight that would change. But we don't know. Corey looks pretty good right now. Corey looks good to all the ladies of a TWF fan base. All the ladies love him. And a pinfall. One, two. Nice count from Gage. Seems like he's cutting down the middle so far. But a match has just begun. So that might change. Corey, Corey has a new weapon. Bass is Cody in the back with it. Again. And a cameraman's fingers again in the way. Oh, he almost ran Cody right into Gage. Good thing Gage. Eyes were wide open and got out of the way. That's the problem being a referee. You gotta watch where action goes. You gotta watch where it goes. You gotta stay out of the way as best as you can. <sighs> With that wooden piece. To Cody Matthews back. These guys have had epic battles in front at Tito Breakthrough. That was an epic match from these two. And now we will we see the same type of match that we had at Breakthrough. And Corey is setting up something dangerous that could end someone's career at any moment here tonight. He's setting the metal trays up. This does not look good for Cody Matthews. He's setting something up big for the jelly eating donut guy. I wonder what's going on in that dark mind of Corey Black. What is he going to do to Cody Matthews with that nice setup? He has outside of the ring for Cody Matthews. Oh! Nice kick to a head. That's like a GSP kick. Knockout blow. Good night, Cody Matthews, because you just got knocked the fuck out by uh, a dark one. Cody Black. And Cody does not know where he is after that kick to a head. He's probably seen... Looney Tunes above his head. Head. Nice chop. Bring the pain to Cody Matthews. No. Oh. To the Jingle Berries. Oh my God. And what Cody said is in to the Timbits. I said Jingle Berries, but Timbits is the most Canadian thing you say here tonight. Cause we're in Canada and we love Timbits. Oh my god, how did Cody kick out of that after getting kicked in the Jingle Bears? Wow! Axe impact! I feel bad for Cody.
probably lost a cup uh, a couple of cells down there after that kick to a groin. And what Corey Black has in mind here tonight could just could end Cody Matthews' career. Boom! Into a fence, but it did not knock down Cody Matthews. And Gage did not look impressed with that. You see a, a, a face he made when Corey Black made that move. He did not look impressed. He's mad because he doesn't have a match tonight. Into a tree, using his environment. Yeah, environment, get it? Because trees are environment. Using his environment to win the match here tonight. Oh, what's he's he's setting up some big. Wait, Cody reverses it. Boom! That probably did not feel good on the back of Corey Black. And if I was Cody, I'll pin him right now. Because this is a good chance to do it. Bashes his head off it. Throws him into a ladder! Like he hasn't went through enough pain already. When Cody gets in that mood, when he gets to that dark place, you better watch how he can think of the most dangerous things than anyone could. And look, and you see Brad Blaze right there. What is he doing out here? He can't let his own partner have his own match. Don't know why he's out here. And it seems like they're taking it out front. Wow, oh, face plant into that silver tray. Where's Cody going? Days I'm confused. I think Cody, Cody was trying to look for some, but didn't find anything. So he just um, go right back. Oh, ding dong! And Cody just falls right onto the ground. Boom! Nice shot to the head. Oh, a knee to a gut, DT, and just face plant Cody's face into that tray. That could be it. Pin him, Cody. Pin him. One, two. Just a two count, ladies and gentlemen. Cody Matthews is still in it. And Cody jumps. Boom! Frog splash on Cody Matthews. And as Brad Blaze, the TWF champion, just washes on and see what his buddy is doing here tonight. Need some liquid courage. A special guest referee, Gage Hayes, has to take control of this match with Brad being out here. But let's not forget, it's no Deku, so anything goes. <coughs> Gage Hayes can try his best to stop it, but they don't have to. He has beaten Cody with that beer bottle. Hitting Cody. What's this? Oh! Did you hear the impact of that one? Like a football tackle with that silver tray into a, a chest of Cody Matthews. That, that must have hurt. Now he's just beating that leg. And Cody doesn't, did not submit, did not to Oh! Gas pe pedal. Into a Jingle Berries once again. 
Just a two count again. And what is he grabbing? Looks like a wire. Uh, oh, no, he's uh, choking Cody Matthews. Uh, Ruff, you better take control. He lets go. He, just, he lets go of Cody and starts whipping him with that. Uh, uh, you can see it in the uh, enjoyment on Brad's, Bradley's face. He's, he's liking it. He's liking every bit of it. And Corey Black is no, he did not. He did not capitalize on that classic move with a water bottle cap. Two. Did not work. Just a two count. <laughs> a referee needs to get into the action. He's just sitting down. Look at that water just came out of that. <coughs> Anything goes. Bring Cody back into the ring. Oh. Just lays out Cody Matthews. Puts on his hat for this one. Oh! Oh my god! This is... Ref, do something about this. He... He could have killed him, Ref. Look at... Oh my god. That was just too violent. And Ref did fuck all about it. And this is probably it, ladies and gentlemen. No one's getting kicked out of that one. Oh my god! A two count. How did Cody Matthews kick out of that one? And now here comes Brad to get involved. Like in almost every match Cody Matthews has. He's setting something up. Oh my god. God, leg drop onto Cody head, and the brass tell the ref to count fast. Cody kicks out, nice clean, nice clean count from referee Gage Hayes. That's how you cut a match down the middle. Don't listen to what Tito of Champion said, says, because he's a jackass. Okay, he's an asshole. He's a dickhead. Don't listen to that guy. Oh! Hello! With that silver tray into Corey's head. Oh! And Corey's not taking, taking it easy on Corey anymore. He's gonna end it right now. Boom! Oh my! Oh my god! Holy cow! How can you do that to someone? Multiple head sauce with that tray into Corey's head. Wow. Holy cow again. Holy cow thousand times. Don't know how Corey's going to back up after that one. Oh my god. I'd be, I'd be dizzy after that. I'd be falling asleep. You know, oh my god. Corey probably felt like he just went... He, he probably just went through time travel with that head start. Now he's on putting this on his head again. Oh! Boom! It seems like Corey's uh, bell has rung inside of his head. Ding a ling, ding a ling, ding a ling, ding a ding ding, ding 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 ding. Oh my god, Corey's out of it. And Brad's trying to calm down Cody. Cody, hey, he's doing better. Then a referee is doing. 
I, like, I'm totally against them getting involved, but someone needs to take control of this before someone dies! Corey could have a concussion after this. Brain damage or something. And Gage is not caring about anything. He's just pissed off because he doesn't have a match. And I, I know that makes people mad sometimes, but you gotta think about these guys' health and Sire What they're putting their body through here tonight. He's pointing at Brad. Then, yeah, this is, this is for you, bud. Here you go, buddy. One. Two, come on, buddy, do something about it. But he's not. You know, Cody, Cody doesn't have all that power behind him. Because he has one for the hard banner battle. But still enough damage to do with Cody Black. Oh! My God! Someone needs to stop. This would, if this was UFC or boxing... This would be coming as a TKO. Technical knockout. Corey's not able to defend himself. But don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, this is wrestling. Not MMA. Not boxing. Anything goes. Boom! Chair shot to the back of Corey Black. Just hit him. What? What's going for Cody's head right now? He has lost it. Cody, come on. Um, don't. Oh my. Don't. Stop. No. Oh my God, Cody. Stop. I don't believe what Brad does always, but he did the right thing right there. That could have ended badly. And a look on Brad's face. He's surprised. He has never saw on this side of Cody Matthews. His own family. His own bro. He has not saw this in him his, his whole Oh He takes a chair away What a sacrifice And Cody doesn't need it He's just going for a headshot Oh Cody is going back on his A game oh, with the help of Brad Blaze, a TIF champion And Cody's too weak he can't even stand he just collapsed under his own two feet Oh! A headshot with a big heavy tray. Elbow drop. And Brad just brings in the chair. And Cody is busted open, ladies and gentlemen. He says like every match that him and Corey have, Corey has always drew first blood on Cody. See, if this was the first blood match, Cody will lost. And just, oh, being up, making that ankle weak. Oh, and Brad has to get involved with a kendo stick. And Gage! Kicks him out! Oh, you, you he finally takes control of the match! And Brad is out of here! Look at look at blood on Cody Matthews' head. Oh, you're, you're fucking me over. Yeah, you're cheating. You're my problem. Over. Out! You're fucking me over. See ya! What's this? Aftermath! Oh. It was an aftermath! And he goes for a pin! And that is it, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't agree with that count. That was that was a fast count count from Gage Hayes. But what a ref says is final. And that's it, Cody Matthews has won this match. Now him and Corey are two and two.
That was a battle. Can't believe what we, what's Cody doing with that chair? No, he's not going to do anything. Cody is your, is your winner here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Smack the face of Corey, and Corey's out of it. Oh, champion said, "Don't." You're a champion, you know. I'll take it back. To him. What Cody just said, he's uh, what a good champion we have. I'm gonna go take it back to him now. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, do not forget about this match. Our main event tonight, Brad against Jeff for the TWF Championship belt. Don't forget to, to uh, watch the next video, part three of this epic episode of TWF we have for you.